What up, it's Joe Milk, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to install the PS3 SDK. I'm not going to show you how you can download it and where to download it, but I will show you how to install it. So first you want to have it downloaded. I personally prefer the 3.70 SDK because the others are not necessarily completed. So let's go on to the files. First thing you want to do is to find the installer.executable and you want, it to you want to rename it a zip file. Once it's renamed to a zip file, you'll be able to uh, decompress the files that's inside that executable. Uh, the manager, the executable itself doesn't work, so you, you have to decompress it using WinRAR or any app that can decompress zip files. Afterwards, once you um, decompressed all them files, I already have them decompressed, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, so once it's all decompressed, you're going to get the folder 1 to 43, and you're going to dec decompress the files inside of them. Then you're going to want to take the file that you decompressed and put them to the root of install file. So you're going to have a big folder with all the files that you decompressed. The folder that's important is the cell folder. That cell folder, you're going to have to put it to a specific directory, which I'm going to put in the description. Uh, and basically, once you drag it there, you're going to want to install Target Manager and Prodigy. Uh, just download a, a higher Target Manager, like 4.20. It's easy, you just have to Google it and you're going to find a link on YouTube probably. So this is pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope that helped you guys to get a step closer to developing some stuff for the PS3. Peace!